Hey there guys, um, so at the moment we're just looking at um, the old miner's oil wick lamp or the kettle lamp which is often called as well. Um, in fact you can see my helmet set up here and um, I actually still use these devices. Um, they're actually one of my favourite light sources because they are extremely reliable. This here is an old original lamp and yeah, it'll be over a hundred years old and it still goes perfectly and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make the fuel, see this is the fuel it runs off I'm going to show you how to make this fuel that this, these lamps run off um, so what I do is I use a mixture of um, candle wax and kerosene um, or if you want to have a lamp which keeps the mosquitoes away you can change the kerosene to um, citronella oil or similar to that but um, these kettle lamps they come in two two main categories you either got the semi-solid fuel which is this waxy type fuel or you got a liquid fuel lamp so what we're going to do is we'll fire, fire up a liquid fuel lamp to show you how they actually work that lamp there this one here I built same with this one but that's an original Damn childproof lids. I wonder why I can't get into it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a little bit of fuel in here. Oh, oh. Um. So you got liquid fuel. You got solid and semi-solid fuel. Now, liquid fuel has a real issue that. If you look down or you're, um, you're in a cave or something and you're laying on your side, the fuel tips out, so you can see it starts dripping. Yeah, there we go. Um, now that's a big issue with, um, with these, but with the um, solid fuel they don't do that. I'm just going to turn that down a bit. Um, kettle lamps here, yeah, they're one of my favourite light sources. I I build build quite a few of them and um, use them in all sorts of projects as well. So that's actually quite a bright flame. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, make the fuel for this um, for semi semi um, solid fuel. Um, you might have heard heard of the term sunshine lamps. So um, and that's what it is. It's the sunshine oil we actually well could change it to moonshine um, <laughs> so I'm, going, I'm doing this one handed which makes it a little bit more difficult oh look at that, here's the rain one hand and one footed <clears throat> I'm going to pump up, so that's a Coleman GI pocket stove very handy thing Move the fuel away from the flames. So we're going to put the candle wax in here to melt. that the don't need fire in our wax hey 
it's very very important that we don't mix the kerosene with the wax while it's on the flame because otherwise it could go kaboom I like to make things go kaboom but not when I'm inside <laughs> I'm going to do, I'm going to put some fuel into the container, and that's just to cool it a bit so I don't break the glass. Because if you spill this stuff, it, it makes a hell of a mess and it's a bastard to clean up. You don't need the wick, so you pull the wicks out. And you don't want to spill this on yourself because it will burn like hell. Mm -hmm. Add a little more kerosene. You see how the wax is vaporizing the kerosene, so we've got to add a little bit more. So I make these lamps either out of brass or I make them out of tin. Now tin ones, I got I got two of these helmets, and the tin ones I generally use for someone who's liable to lose one. See, we've got. Got a bit of a wax fire going. Now this will solidify. 
Now we're gonna test it. I wanna get something cold actually. So to test to make sure we've got the right right mixture of kerosene and wax, what we're going to do is we've got a cold nail. We're going to dip the nail into the mixture, and when we pull it out, it should make it a coat, make a coating on it. Here we go. Here we go, we've made new fuel for our kettle lamp. But as you can see, I've got it set up on my helmet. I was a bit of an idiot because if I have the GoPro camera turned down, all you see is a kettle lamp in front of the, the lens. And it generally sits right where you're showing, you know, showing someone what you're doing. For instance, I might be doing a trap or something and um, pointing at something out but they can't see it because it's been blocked by the stupid lamp I was a bit of an idiot to set it up like that but um, I've made a mark on the camera where to um, where to actually adjust it to so we've got our kettle lamp fuel all made up so what we do is we let that dry I oh, let that harden, put a lid on and you can actually keep it in like tobacco tins and stuff like that works very well oh guys, we'll, we'll see you guys next time